Well, there's a new bank in town called the National Bank of Santa Clara. Well, what the hell happened? Well, on Wednesday, Silicon Valley Bank announced that they were doing a 1.5 or 1.7 billion security sale to raise money for all the money they lost because they needed money that people had taken their money out and they were losing a lot of money. And, and that caused a little bit of a panic. The CEO the next morning yesterday said, don't worry, don't leave, please don't go, we're fine. And then within hours, the market dropped and all the venture capitalist investors pulled out of the bank. And then this morning, FTSC comes in and says, you know what, you're done, we're shutting you down, you can't do anything, you can't handle it. So they created a new bank called the National Bank of Santa Clara to put all the deposits and assets, assets, I can't talk, of SVB in there to, to, so we can allocate it to who owes the money. And if you don't know, FDIC is, a, is the insurance for banks, for, for federal covered banks. What they do is that for, if a bank goes bankrupt, a bank goes bankrupt, FDIC will cover your account up to $250,000. So at some point, could be months or a year before you get the money back, but the first $250,000 of your account is covered. So if you have more than 250 grand in an account, you're at risk of being a creditor. And what they do is that one of the guys even commented too, they give you an IOU that we owe you the money and we'll try to get it to you. But remember, they don't. They only cover the first 250. After that, you have to hope that the bank has some assets left to give you the money. Now, there are some people thinking this will cause a major panic. I don't think it will. It could, because you got Silvergate going down because of this. We got SVB going. All the banks got hit yesterday. I think JP Morgan's up. I think their liquidity issues aren't as bad as SVB. Because remember, SVB also does the tech, and they've been getting hit for the last year or so. So I think that probably led to it also. And as I said the other day, some of the money coming out is not because we don't like the bank. It's because there are other things out there that are paying more and still pretty safe. Literally, you can buy some treasuries and get more than 5%. That hasn't been like that since I was a kid, since the 80s. So we'll see how this comes out. But hopefully this is a one-off thing and then they take care of it and then everyone fixes their shit. I mean, maybe they'll have to make rules to make more liquidity measures to protect for protection for the banks. But who knows? I don't think this is a systemic thing yet. But anyone who knows me, I'm wrong a lot.